It's been a long journey. We've been through yeah, already through 10 episodes. <laughs> but I think it's it's over. It's over me and you. We were always best friends, weren't we? Me. Uh, uh, I'm talking to the house right now, ladies and gentlemen. But I must. I'm, 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 I built a better home. And this time, I must say so long to my old house. So I will light up this TNT. And three, two, one. And here goes nothing. Oh, no, this is so sad. Well, here goes my old house, ladies and gentlemen. Uh. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, yes, welcome back to another episode of Minecraft. Okay, so in this, as you can see, I already built my house in this episode. We got lots of stuff to do, so just for, so we don't waste any more time. Let's get into my house tour. So, first off, we right before getting to it, as you can see, I even have a sign a sweet home because just for decorations, you know. I mean. Yes, I know it's also covered in glow ink sack, which is pretty nice. Now let's enter our house right there. Right beside my stairs there, there is a low stone and a bell. I have some of those two things. And I also, you know, uh, there, um, uh, here I have my carrots and beetroots going. While on the other side I have wheat and potatoes growing. What could be better, right? Anyway, so yes, this is kind of like... A chilling area, outside chilling area, where I just watch the flowers grow, even though they can't really grow, but still, you know what I mean. And this one is also kind of, you can chill, but do not walk there, because it yeah! hurts, and it hurts very much, so this is where I have the smoker and campfire, all that crap. Now, welcome to my home, ladies and gentlemen. So, yes, this is uh, basically a working floor, you know, as you can see, I ha right here, I have is the li library area and then in this one i basically have a, a whole working area look at that crafting table it's got a graphic table a loom i think that's what it's called right yes the smithing table stone cutter grindstone and last but not least the anvil now there are also trapdoors and once you go down there uh there's basically like a basement wow. and as you can see uh there we have four this the there I have furnaces, and there's even one blast furnace. Then I have the brewing set right here already. There's also a conjuron, the composter, and a few ba uh, barrels. They're basically just for decoration. I don't know why would I use them, because I literally have 12 pieces of chest right there. And in this one I'm saving basically tools and weapons. In this one I'm saving are the, you know, the materials, the important materials. This one, basically most likely furniture, but it could also be armor and all that stuff then these are, these are mostly like you know name nature blocks like nature simple blocks in this one i basically saving all of my food in this one i'm saving all like samplings and seeds and all that stuff in this one i'm saving all the nether stuff this one has all of my basically everything like buckets and every uh, piece of the bottles this one is basically more like for traveling and all that stuff this one has all that basic stuff. I know how to help when I say this. But basically, a bunch of, a bunch of random basic stuff. And this is this one is uh, obviously redstone uh, chest. And last but not least, it's this one has books and in, in uh, saved in them. So as yeah, this was this, now this is not my whole house. As you can see, I once I go up to this super unique stairs. Don't worry, I didn't kill my dogs in that explosion right there. They are literally safe right there. So if you if you were scared and worried that my dogs died, I literally just killed them in the explosion. I didn't. I'm not a terrible owner, alright? But this is like a chill area. Look at that. I can relax right there and I no, I can even look at the beautiful view out there. And last but not least, we have our the is the little bedroom. Beside my beds, I have the jukebox and the armor stand. And yes, without further ado, that was my basically my whole house tour. Hopefully, you guys liked this, this house. I really worked hard for it, you know. It took me a, a while to go. Well, I literally, just as I did the house tour, 
the weather is not what I expected it to be. Oh, well, there, as you can see, a lot of trees have been cut. Okay, I should probably go to sleep uh, so my house doesn't burn off down in just in case the lighting hits the roof and all the stuff because the roof is wooden now first things what should i do is have uh my potatoes cooking because i only have one single baked potato i need more so i'm gonna use all my three quarters that i have and then i'm gonna collect later on some more but now ladies and gentlemen i will go probably look out around this what I, or on my house what do i have because i I think that a while I was off camera, I, I could I find some really unique stuff, and not it's not this area. I already been through a lot of this area. I already know there's even a master plateau right there. There's Nether. Here we go. So now I have to always so walk so far just to go to Nether. But there's a lots of like unique stuff, uh, and the, more like at the back of my house. You know, I had when I when I go straight right there. There's even like there's even those very very unique oceans and amazing oceans, I should say. Alright, so that's okay. Let's see that there's a gun. There's a village right there. Okay, that's just insane. Is that what I think it is? It's a puffer fish, but why is it. Why is it not like with the rest of the fishes right there? I don't understand. Well, maybe it's lonely because no one likes it because it's, it's spiky. However, I'm gonna kill it because I really wanna. I'm sorry, I, I, I know what. That's prop. I just. I really feel bad that I kill it now, but I really wanna create water breathing potions, you know, because that would be really cool and i can swim underwater but uh, however before that let's check out the village this village you know to see if they have any cool stuff all right so this one has a chair okay yeah is there anything in this furnaces no all right this one has a christ or no oh that is actually that is actually pretty good look at four diamonds what and two pieces of obsidian that's okay this is the best village ever all right I, there's also like Okay, I guess I will take it, even though the three because I have the mushroom flower pots in my, uh, in my, on my, in my home anyway. Well, I guess I'm now heading home. I mean, what do I have to lose? However, uh, this ocean, let, let's actually have a look at this ocean, uh, because it's, or see, whatever. But, it, uh, but whatever it is, this is very beautiful, well, you know. Well, it's becoming night now, uh, basically, I literally came at, to my home at the perfect night. Also, my accent, my English accent today is just awful. What is wrong with me? It's like, why my English uh, became all of a sudden so worse? I see that all my baked potatoes are already all set. So I won't be needing uh, this anymore. So I will split those and go with 11 baked potatoes. All right, so I think first step, what I need to do is make i think that it's nether world right uh, i sure hope so uh, hopefully that i'm not making wrong decisions all right i literally have just enough okay i have three of those uh so i will now go fill up my bottles all right here we go now i need to i think that yep here we go i think now that's making the awkward portion whatever the heck that is I'm gonna now save my all other stuff, especially diamonds are the first thing I'm saving. Now, the what else should I save? Oh yeah, the obsidian and the iron. Yeah, okay, that, that, yeah, I'm going the correct path. All right. So now I do. Okay, now I'm gonna also need to. While that's brewing, I'm gonna also now put one piece of redstone where it belongs. So uh, the potion won't just stand three minutes, but it will stand eight minutes because that's great also another thing that while i was filling the water bottles uh i mean just glass bottle was you know uh, i also f realized that there is some deep dark uh, hole right there so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna test uh, right now as soon as i will get my breathing water breathing potions done i will then uh, basically check out what's under this hole what's our secrets are the hole under this one all right so now it's for now it's three minutes but soon enough it will be already eight minutes okay perfect i will i will now use one of them uh, uh all right so i will use just be right just before i will go away okay where are all okay so these are where all the glass bottles are here we go i will drink it right before i will jump into the water uh, here we go perfect and now let's see what secrets uh, are in there in this hole also, there's coal. I should probably get some. Okay, two pieces of coal. That's not bad. I'm moving on. 
Okay, I think that, that's, uh, is that gold or, that's iron. Alright, so I'm, I'm definitely collecting these. Hope that there, are, um, there aren't any mobs around, because that would be just terrible. I just like it how I'm just underwater mining. I mean, as long as I have the water being potion, that I, then I should be fine, right? I'll uh, say, mining underwater is slower, though. I mean, it makes sense. Imagine if we were mining underwater. Uh, it's, it's not even realistic to mine underwater. Those can't be the diamonds. No way did I just find diamonds just like that. Okay, there's lapis lazuli. Okay, I'm taking the lapis lazuli. But I literally just found diamonds, ladies and gentlemen. Underwater. Well, what better else to do than mine them? I'm literally mining diamonds underwater, ladies and gentlemen. And finally, ah, um, this, this took forever. Uh, how many diamonds? Okay, so and this is, was the last piece. So I got 11 diamonds. Okay. Checking out this hole was definitely worth it. This, what I'm from now on, I'm, this hole, I'm calling it the godly underwater hole. Because this is, this, uh, this, just, it just literally gave me, I'll just check what's under, uh, this, under this hole. And I found the secrets. It was 11 diamonds. That is just insane how much of that sporty stuff did I just find. Uh, I also discovered all this uh, that in my own nether there is a nether fortress It's a in a very dangerous place, but I'm still gonna visit it. I'm gonna show you where it is It's basically like in the opposite way where I go in the piglin bastion uh, It's uh, you know piglin bastion is more like uh, On the right side of where I enter the nether uh, or when uh, from where I enter the nether portal while nether fortress is literally in the opposite it's on the left side. I go literally on the left as soon as I enter the nether portal. So it's basically like uh, I'm gonna for this one in order if I wanna visit uh, the uh, nether fortress I will need a lots of lots of blocks and also just to cover myself just in case if I fall in lava I will need to drink the potion of fire resistance so just to um, stay safe. Alright, so as you can see, I always, every single time I enter the nether portal, or used to enter the nether portal, uh, it's kind of funny to, uh, it will, it's just about to run out, but it's kind of funny to still know that I still have the water thing, a uh, potion effect on me. Uh, anyway, uh, I always used to go this way, right? Uh, but now, I'm, instead of, go I'm going the complete opposite way. So I'm going right there, this is where the nether fortress it is, and I should probably also, yeah, I should probably also drink potion of fire resistance, and who is the tech, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm, you know what, uh, I'm kinda now, uh, what, I'm gonna, uh, okay, I'm, go I'm gonna now, before I will enter the nether portal, I will, okay, I'm, I'm taking the sword and I'm gonna bring m myself the golden armor, at least one piece of the golden armor. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, boys, because uh, as you can see, I'm back in the nether. And th this time, okay, I, d I got myself in the nether with golden, golden leggings, and they also have demanding uh, enchantment on them, which is pretty great. Now, I also have uh, kind of uh, only six minutes of my potion of fire resistance or potion left, whatever. So, uh, I must now ha better hurry up because two minutes already ran out when I was just finishing to, you know. Uh, okay, so that's uh, that, that is already a problem. So yeah, I'm think I'm gonna now have to eat one piece of baked potato to heal up uh, Because I'm gonna need basically full health because the nether forces I'm visiting Is very dangerous, but this is basically the, ne the nearest nether fortress there is in my own nether Also a bunch of magma slimes, but the good thing good stuff is that I can literally walk over magma box And I can even swim in lava. Isn't that just fantastic? So now I'm gonna start to need so start placing some blocks. Uh, all right, so I will go like this and boom. Okay, so I, I I don't see the Nether port just yet. Hopefully I'm getting close to it though. Okay, listen, friend, to me. I can see. Yes, that is the Nether fortress. I have finally arrived. So yes, I I I now I need uh, uh to build up, build like a bridge. You know, I mean you pra definitely know what I'm talking about. I will always need to stay crouchy because otherwise. I think I build, okay, hopefully no magma slimes will jump at me and throw me down the lava. Uh, okay, so there are the skeletons. So let me try to build up uh, the bridge all the way to the, that nether fortress, you know. 
I also don't kind of want to die because I already have almost up to 10 experience and that would be kind of a waste uh, losing all that experiences. However, I, I also have the bow and arrow so I should probably if I'm smart I should be fine because I can take out the skeletons with a bow. Why are there, why are, why do the magma slimes keep falling from there? It's like they're literally co fro coming and falling from the sky and to the lava you know okay so i didn't need as much blocks as i thought i would need to uh, i need to keep looking out for the where because where the scan was more literally there before but now they just all disappear so i need to keep an always close eye for any shooting mobs uh, so that they don't throw me down in the lava because that would be just terrible all right so i think that now i can yeah here you go perfect i just built a bridge all the way to the nether fortress heck yeah okay let's try to see what's going on there hopefully i don't die but i probably will die and i also need to watch out for every single co oh, corner around okay how much okay still have one minute of the fire resistance potion left so yes i think now i will try to look for the nether fortress a little bit uh and hopefully that nothing bad will happen okay i found my way where i started so this is i'm gonna still uh, look, uh, look out in this nether forces just for a little bit not for too long because i do not want to okay so yes let's see what's going on here go on chest plate okay i'm, I'm taking all that st stuff because that's a uh, really good stuff right there oh my fu okay my wa first wither skeleton encounter here you go here you go action action baby yeah, yeah let's go that's what i'm talking about okay don't hit me please don't hit me ah yes thank you for not hitting me all right so there is another one i must get rid of those guys because of those, so those are the bad guys and i hate the worst part is when they give you that wither effect but yeah the, the, the weather skeletons are the very challenging just because of that effect that they give you they, they really mm, and almost you know, take your whole life by just one hit because of that effect oh god that is a gigantic slime up there oh another one okay uh, okay yeah i'm uh guys i'm in trouble oh yep oh uh, guys i'm uh i'm dead i'm so i'm so screwed i'm so screwed i can still run i can still no jump <laughs> i was trying to jump up there but the stupid my stupid character just would like to stay in this hole of doom well i died I was doing so great though, no! Oh man, oh, what? Okay, I spawned literally in on my armor stand. Stupid dude, man. The ca okay, I need to, why do I keep spawning inside of my armor stand? But I was trying to jump uh, and escape the, this. I nearly got away. And then at the end, you know, uh, it just, happened that my my guy was stupid and, and decided to stay in that hole so yes uh, i'm kind of disappointed by that ending right there ladies and gentlemen but i've already been recording for quite some time now uh so i'm gonna end this video right there but you know like always i will see you all soon